We are reporting from the UN building in New York, and I'm here with uh, Peter Thompson, who is now the president of the General Assembly of the United Nations. And we've been together at an event uh, here today, and uh, maybe you can say something about the theme of this uh, meeting today. Sure. Well, um, today's meeting is actually the first occasion that the president of the Security Council, which is Sweden, and the president of the General Assembly, which is myself, and the President of the Economic and Social Council, and the Chair of the Peace Building Commission, and let's not forget the Secretary General of the United Nations, Mr. Guterres, were all together on the same podium to talk about this one topic. Uh, it was never done before in UN history, and it shows how uh, interested everybody is in this topic. And the topic is, what is the connection between sustaining peace and the Sustainable Development Goals? In other words, can you have peace without real development? Can you have real development without sustained peace? This is the question which we've been debating, and uh, it's obvious to everybody, I think, that one without the other is not possible. And we are actually turning to the whole world, or all countries in the world, and all governments, and others as well. There were also, who were the participants today? Well, there was uh, 193 countries represented. It was the Pact Trusteeship Council. There was uh, a large number of uh, non-governmental organizations, civil society organizations present. And uh, I have to say, uh, as the chief organizer of the meeting, that I'm very, very pleased with the turnout. And uh, the meeting is still ongoing. We've got workshops uh, going down the stairs. We've got a plenary meeting where there are so many countries wanting to speak, it's probably going to kick on till tomorrow. Uh, and so uh, I can say that, uh, that, the, that the United Nations is gripped with this matter. And I just make one plug for Sweden here. This really follows on from the initiative that uh, Sweden took uh, 10 days into its presidency of the Security Council. So that was 10th of January when you had the uh, prevention of conflict mm. um, uh, meeting. And I think that was probably the most highly attended in terms of the number of countries that spoke, 93 countries I think spoke on the subject. Mm. So congratulations to Sweden on a really good start for 2017 for the peace agenda. To you as well, to the uh, General Assembly and this shows that we need to work uh, closer uh, together, uh, also particularly on the topic of conflict prevention and sustaining peace. We have the master plan in Agenda 2030 and the Paris Agreement on Climate and now it's a matter of moving from Words to deeds. Yes. Thank you. <laughs>